Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back to another episode of PHTV. My name is Elizabeth Castillo. And I'm James Roberts. This is Red Team's second show of the season, so let's hope we can, we can show some improvements for over last episode. We've got a lot of announcements, so sit back and listen up. To start off today, we want to thank the PHS cheerleaders for their amazing decoration in the commons for the homecoming dance. The cheerleaders put a lot of work to make the homecoming dance memorable. It truly was a night to remember. Great job, Phoenix cheerleaders. We know that homecoming is now a few weeks behind us, but we wanted to report on school spirit points earned during homecoming week. After tallying all the spirit points for this week, the results were as followed. Seniors won the week, followed by our juniors in second. The freshman class took third place, and the sophomores rounded out the week in fourth. This puts our total spirit points as followed. Our seniors are in first place with 186 points. Juniors are close behind in second with 106. Our freshman class is in third place with 85 points and our sophomores with 38 points. With all this talk about spirit points, let's see how PHS did in class attendance for the last week and find out what class earned more spirit points. In first place, in fourth place for attendance, we had the seniors at 91.5%. In third place, we had the sophomores at 94.5, followed by juniors in second place at 95.5%. And finally, with a 97% attendance mark for last week in the first place were the freshmen. Good job, freshmen. Keep up the good work. For everyone else, make sure to be in class and help boost your class attendance. This week, we have another opportunity for you and your class to earn spirit points. On Friday, Phoenix High School will be wearing pink for cancer awareness. Wear pink on Friday and earn your class spirit points. Also, leadership will be selling pink breast cancer awareness items in the comments this week during break and at lunch. A portion of the proceeds will be donated to cancer research and education. Este viernes, Phoenix High School, todos usarán ropa del color rosa para apoyar y crear conciencia del cáncer. Y usa color rosa el viernes para ganar puntos de espíritu para tu clase. Además, el liderazgo estará vendiendo artículos color de rosa para hacer conciencia del cáncer de seno en los comunes esta semana durante el descanso y el almuerzo. Un porción de los ingresos será donada a la investigación y a la educación del cáncer. Phoenix High School is partnering with KDRV Television to help connect and don donate new or gently used winter coats for the kids in need in our community. Check your closets at home for gently used kids' coats. Purchase a new coat or purchase one from Goodwill. Ask your family members, friends, co-workers, and neighbors to donate any coats for kids ages 2 to 18. Drop off new or gently used kids' coats at the office. Be sure to tell the ladies in the office your grade level. The three grade levels which collect the most coats this week will earn spirit points towards this year's competition. So donate your gently used coats to Coats for Kids in the front office this week and help earn spirit points for your class. Don't forget that today is picture retake day in the small gym. Get a package in front of in the front office if you need pictures retake. PHTV's very own Corey Rumbig making a special segment on this picture retake, so let's roll it. Hello students. Not in love with your school photo? Need photo redemption? Photo retakes will occur today in the small gym during the morning and first part of the afternoon. By law, all students must have a photo on file. Come by the front office for retakes today. Speaking of reminders, we want to remind all students that the 2017-2018 yearbooks, have you ordered a yearbook yet? If not, do, do as soon as possible. Right now, yearbooks are on sale for only $30 until November 1st. After November 1st, the yearbook's price will, drop, will jump to $40, so buy a yearbook before November 1st to save $10. Otro recordatorio que tenemos para todos los estudiantes es sobre el anuario 2017 y 2018. ¿Has pedido un anuario? Si no, hazlo lo más pronto posible en este momento 
pronto posible. En este momento, los anuarios están en venta por solo $30 hasta el 1 de noviembre. Después del 1 de noviembre, el precio del anuario subirá a $40. Así que compra un anuario antes de 1 de noviembre para ahorrar $10. Another important reminder for students, Phoenix High School's After School Academic Program, or ASAP, is running after school. ASAP is for any students who need additional time or support after school with academic or school-related work. ASAP takes place on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays after school in Ms. Pond's room N105. There is a bus that can give you transportation home as well. You must sign up with Ms. Pond in room N105 if you are interested in utilizing ASAP. El programa de apoyo académico después de la escuela de Phoenix High School, o ASAP, estará funcionando después de la escuela. ASAP es para cualquier estudiante que necesite tiempo adicional o apoyo después de la escuela con su trabajo académico o relacionado con la escuela. ASAP va a ser los martes, miércoles y jueves después de la escuela en el San Lon de la señora Pond, N105. Habrá un autobús disponible que te puede dar transporte de regreso a casa también. Si están interesados, deben inscribirse con la señora Pond en la habitación N105 para utilizar ASAP. Phoenix High School will now have access to La Clinica Mobile Health Bus on Thursdays. If you have any medical issues that need to be looked at, you can make an appointment with Ms. Mr. Akil in the attendance office. Phoenix High School ahora tendrá acceso al autobús de salud móvil de la clínica los jueves. Si tienes algún problema médico y necesitas ser examinado, puedes hacer una cita con el señor Akil en la oficina de asistencia. As we stick to the topic of reminders, we want all students to mark their calendars so they don't forget that PHS will also be hosting its far con Fall Carnival on October 31st from 4 to 7 p.m. and will be in the small gym, so save the date. Do you ever wonder about all those bricks in the front of the school? They have names and dates on them. Well, PHTV's very own Taylor Roy and Randy Mick made a special segment interviewing former teacher Ms. Barton about the bricks out front. Let's roll it. Alumni bricks. So in this case, two brothers have bricks and they've requested that they are side by side. These are Scott Cassad and Greg Cassad. Some of you might know their mom, Mrs. Cassad, who worked at Talent Middle School for years and years. Um, so their names are here, um, brothers close together on the wall and um, recognizing the year they graduated. So another idea for a brick is shown here. Um, some classmates wanted to honor their um, classmate who died. Of course, this is after she already graduated. And so they asked that the words in memoriam be put on the brick. And so it's a touching memory for someone who we lost too soon. Okay, so these three brief bricks are all from one family. They purchased three at one time. And the middle brick is for um, the dad, Patches Mujistegi, who graduated in 72. And on the sides are other family members. These are his kids, Nick and Luke, who graduated in 07 and 10. So they were able to get two people's names on the brick. And then over here, another two family members. Um, so this is another idea of how you could use the bricks to recognize your family without having each one on an individual. So this person, instead of putting the year they graduated, they wanted it to say, pirate fan forever. So that's another way that you could use a brick, a few words. So if you decide you'd like to buy a brick for your coach or a family member or um, just for yourself with um, some important words on it for yourself, you can go to the office and pick up one of these order forms. You need to pay $50. That $50 covers the cost of having the engraver come out and engrave them and also goes towards a scholarship fund and um, you'd be able to apply for a scholarship for college um, or vocational school. So the money is to serve our school and our students and graduates. So I um, hope you like the idea and buy a brick. If you would like to buy a brick, come to the front office to pick up the form. 
Turning now to news from our clubs and activities, Mr. Cornett would like to invite everyone to join mediation. Training will be this week during lunch. From DECA, any members interested in attending the OIT competition, please see Carvalho this week to choose your event. There, they will also be meeting in Thursdays, in thurs, this Thursday at 1229 in Mr. Carvalho's room. Also, the Outdoor Club will be hiking Grizzly Peak on Sunday, October 29th, if you are interested. They will also be meeting at the Trailhead at 10 a.m. All who want to come in are invited. Please see Mr. Campagna in room S202 for more information about the Outdoor Club. Before we turn our attention to sports, our cafeteria would like to remind all students to participate in the Healthy High School Challenge. All you need to do is eat from the school cafeteria or student store during the month of October to earn points for our school. All right, let's turn our attention to now to sports. In boys soccer news, the team, the boys team took on North Valley last Monday and won by a winning score of 4-0. They then took on Helmley last Thursday night winning by a score of 2-1. to one. The boys, the boys team will be hosting home games today and Thursday against Nizama and Klamath Union. So be sure to make your way out to Culver Field on Monday and Thursday at 4.30 to cheer the our boys soccer team. In girls soccer news, our girls soccer team took on North Valley last Monday. The competition was fierce and the girls played very hard but unfortunately lost. On Thursday, the girls hosted their final home game against Henley, only losing by a score of 2-0. to zero. The girls will be traveling today to, and Thursday to Klamath Falls to go against Mazama and Klamath Union. So w let's wish, wish them luck. In girls volleyball action, our Pirates volleyball team took on Hidden Valley last Tuesday, falling by a score of 0-3 to three sets. They followed up the games by hosting North Valley last Thursday, falling by a score of 3-1 to one set. Tomorrow, the volleyball team will be hosting Henley at home, starting at 6:15. Be sure to check your, be sure to make your way to the gym tomorrow at 6:15 to cheer, cheer your Pirates volleyball team on for their senior night. In cross country news, our boys and girls cross country teams took part in the Max King Invitational at the Jackson County Fairgrounds this past Wednesday. Both teams ran hard, with our boys team finishing in 10th place and our girls team finishing in ninth place. This Wednesday, our girls cross-country teams will be traveling to Elmira to take place in the County Fair Classic. Good luck, cr Pirates cross-country. Coach Heath wanted to remind all students interested in joining swimming to attend off-season trainings. Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays after school in the weight room will be off-season training for swimming. Be sure to come by if you are interested. Finally, in football action, Pirates took on Henley this past Friday, but winning by a score of 42 to 26. This Friday, our Pirates traveled to Klamath Union and take on the Pelicans. Good luck, football. Also, I made a special segment about football for y'all. Let's roll it. Phoenix football. Uh -huh. Wins over Crook County, South Umqua, Hidden Valley, and North Valley. Come support the Pirates football team at Klamath Union this Friday. You right, you right, you right, you right, yeah. Already know what you want, why you keep hitting my phone. Mm -hmm. Before, just wait till I get in my zone. Mm -hmm. All this silly talk, mama told me never hit it wrong. Mm -hmm. Sir, Good luck, Pirate football. The administration of Phoenix High School would like to invite all students and their parents to come by our Town Hall City Council meeting tonight starting at 5 p.m. in the Commons. This meeting will also be addressing the upcoming school bond. All right, that wraps up our show for today. The last thing we need to do is trivia time. Last week's trivia question was, what day were the pizza sets? And the winner is... Um, Sonrisa Kuriyama and Mrs. Ingles class. Um, congratulations. See Mr. Rhodes after advisory to get your Dutch Rose gift card. This week's trivia question is what color should students wear this Friday to earn spirit points? Make sure to write your 
answer on a piece of paper along with your name and your advisor's name and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Maybe next week you will win the Dutch Bros gift card. La pregunta de trivia de esta semana es ¿Qué color deben usar los estudiantes este viernes para ganar puntos espirituales? Asegúrate de escribir tu no tu respuesta en un pedazo de papel junto con tu nombre y el nombre de tu consejero y ponlo dentro del sobre que está en la puerta del señor Rhodes. Tal vez la próxima semana tú te puedes ganarte una tarjeta de regalo de Dutch Bros. Be sure to, be sure to stick around for the Pledge of Allegiance following our show and as always check out our online platform phtvnews.com. Have a great week Phoenix High School. This has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.